You matter. No, seriously, you really do. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Misty Show. Welcome back to another Timu haul. This one, I've kind of, I've, I've named it a graphic t-shirt haul. I do have a couple other things, but it's mainly graphic t-shirts. I love graphic t-shirts. I did not get this one from Timu, but I did get a Nelvis one from Timu that I really do like. I've had it in a haul before, but today's video is just going to be, we're getting ready for the summertime. We like to hang out in our graphic t-shirts. I do have a couple little outfits here too that I ordered along with the graphic t-shirts and some accessories and some hair things. And apparently a piece of art canvas, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the art canvas. Um, I do have a link down in the description if you want to give Timu a try. This is not a sponsored video. Everything that I'm showing you, I paid for with my own monies. I don't know how to get this open. So let me try to get this open. <laughs> but like I said, there is a link if you want to uh, give Timu a try. And again, I've said this a lot of times before. This is from a couple different orders, so it's really hard for me sometimes to go in and find the link. If there is an item that you want a link for, oh, this is cute, then I just comment that and I will reply to your comment. I sometimes get a little behind in commenting. I do look at all the comments, but sometimes I got to sit down and like look up the link and all that kind of stuff. So bear with me if I'm a little behind, but sometimes that, sometimes it happens. All right, this is a really fun, this is a big window decal of a rainbow. I thought it was a little smaller, that it's pretty big. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I like it. We've got a rainbow with the clouds. So I thought for pride, this would be really, really good, but I kind of thought it was a little smaller. But it's great. It's a static decal. You can see I am putting a picture of what it looks like in the thing and how much I paid for that item, but if it's something that you're interested in, let me know and I will provide you a link in the comments. Oh, and before I forget too, we will be going over to the mirror and we will be trying on all of these graphic t-shirts and the other outfits that I purchased in today's haul. All right, I did get a couple of these. It says it is a Ro no, bow bun roller, bow bun roller, bow bun roller. I got one in black and white and red and white. And it just so happens that I got my hair in a little bun today. So we'll, uh, we'll see how this works. Oh, they're wired. Oh, okay. So you can put your hair through there. I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's see if this is going to work. Oh, let me raise you up a little bit. Put this in there like that. Will it work? Well, maybe you are supposed to put your, your hair through here. Let's try it that way. I'm pro you, you, this is probably not the way that you're supposed to do it. <laughs> so, but we're, we're doing it this way. No, that, that can't be right. Oh, look, there's instructions. Ah, oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Let me come right back and I'll show you the appropriate way to do this. I took my hair down. We'll see if we can figure this out. It says to put your hair in a high ponytail. All right. And then you take this and you put your hair through that like that. And then you're supposed to roll it. I don't know if I can get this to work. It's probably user error, I am certain. Hold hair securely and roll both in towards the head. Well, I'm gonna see if it'll work the misty way. This is how, I get a lot of questions too. How do you do your, your hair bun? It's not that hard. I just pull it in a ponytail like that. One loop to make it a little loose. And then you, you do it halfway like that. And then you take what's left and you wrap it around and then you stick it in the back of your ponytail holder like that. That's it. But I was thinking I could just wrap this around. Well, not, not really. I don't know how I feel about this. That might get returned. Well, that was fun while it lasted. It's supposed to look like that. 
See that? That girl knew how to do it. I do not. So we'll stick that back in there. So I probably re will return those because I don't think I'll ever use them again. Anyway, I will use these. These, I, I buy a lot. I buy a lot of these hair, these uh, headbands. This one is fun. Well, I got a um, two different colors. I got the black and the red. They both were in the same order. Like, you could choose the color, the options. This one's the, the red. Now, these are not wired. See? Th that's it. I think I would ra rather have this than that other thing. So there's the red. And here is the black. Cute. Big fan of their headbands on Timu. Like those. All right. I also got these. I need to put these in my little car right now. These are, they go in your cup holders for your car, but they're little aliens. No, I got those for you in honor of you, Bob, my buddy Bob. So those are going to go in my car. And then I got these. I'm going to go ahead and take out these earrings that I have on because I will be trying on some of these other ones. And these first ones are way bigger than what I thought they were. Mmm. I don't know about these. We'll put them on. You ready? They're big baby heads. Those are big. I was expecting them to be not as big. Yeah, I don't think I'll wear these baby heads. Sometimes I wonder what I'm thinking. You probably wonder what I'm thinking too. All right, where were the bags for those? So we'll probably return those. All right, but these are smaller. These are also very weird, but they're smaller. So... These, I think I would see me wearing a little bit more than those baby heads. But look at that. Those are eyeballs. And they open and close. So let's try them on. Now see, I will wear these. Eyeballs. They do make a little bit of a, a little bit of a noise that might be a little annoying. But I like those eyeballs. Those I'll keep. Um, oh, Bob, I also got these in honor of you. My, 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 my buddy Bob and I, he lives in Arizona, so he's around all the alien stuff. But we we like aliens. And look at this, these earrings, Bob. I like those. I'm going to see Bob in May. And I may, I'm may i going to have to bring these so I can wear them when I hang out with my buddy Bob. This is the way. I like those. See, again, I'm, full, I'm a full believer in wearing... Um, earrings and fun things that just make people smile. I'm going to reuse this and put these ones that I'm taking home back in there. So they can, we, oh, I forgot. The, see, these do have the little rubber, those little rubber stoppers, which is good because sometimes I can't tell you how many times I've not put the rubber back, backs in and then I've lost my earring and then that's no good. So that is important. Sometimes Timo gets a little generous and they'll add you know, several little backers on there. Oh, these. These are fun. They remind me of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Look at that. Or Twizzlers. They don't have backs, though. Oh, yeah, they do. They do. Let's get those out. Those are fun. Maybe I need to move you a little bit closer because we, we moved you up when we were trying on that headband. That's not very seductive at all, but that's, that's the, that's, that's them. I like those. And those are a perfect size. They're a little quirky, like the eyeball ones, but they're not as quirky as big baby heads. Those are ginormous. So these are appropriate. These are an appropriate amount of quirky weird in your earrings, as well as these. Who remembers these? These are, these also, ooh, they do have the little backings. Ooh, those, those hang really odd. Let's try those on. But those are 3D glasses. I don't know if I like the way that they're, that they hang. Timu is the best place to get fun earrings. They're a little big, but I still like them. I think those are fun. I do like those. I, they, I, I wish that they hung more, I don't know why I wish they hung more like that, but still really, really cute. And they're like an acrylic. Those are fun. I do like those. I will keep those. 
And then, what are these? I can't tell. Sometimes you can tell what they are through the bag. Oh, these are fun. Oh, yeah, I like those a lot. I have earrings that match these. Or I have glasses that match these glasses. These are my, These are a little big. Those are a little big. See, I'm kind of getting to the point where, you know, Misty, you really like those, but will you wear those? I don't know that I will. If they were a little bit smaller, I would. And they, you probably can see how big they are in the listing, but I don't pay attention to those things typically. I really don't. All right, we got two more pairs of earrings, and then we will move on to the clothing. These, actually, I got a shirt. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you these, but I got a shirt that I think will look cute with them, but they're chickens, they're chickens in pink boots. Those are cowgirl chickens. This ain't Texas. But, oh, Beyonce would be proud. I don't know the words to the song necessarily. I'm just um, humming along. So grab your car keys to your Lexus. Da -da 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 -da. Beyonce would like these probably. I don't know. I think they're pretty cute. And I'm hoping that they'll match the shirt. I'll show them to you again here in a minute. But I, those are cute. And then these are cute. These are a little bit more subtle and not quirky and fun. But I have several um, outfits that I think will match these. See, that that's the only bad thing. I kind of wish they were protected a little bit better in shipping. Because sometimes the post gets a little bit. And you can easily bend them back, but you know you pay you pay for things, and you don't want them to be bent. There, this is like a chartreuse green, and then we've got the the white and black speckles. So those are really cute. But this is like a I don't know that it's a polymer clay. It's like a faux polymer clay, but I do like those. Now let's get into the clothes, and I'm going to show you the non graphic t-shirts first I and then then we'll show the graphic t-shirts and then we'll go over to the mirror and we'll try them on so this first shirt is a different color it's not a very bright color for summer but I it is short sleeve and I like this as sort of a um what is that word I'm looking for not a muslin there's the fabric content well I'm sure it's polyester but it has this little tie in the back. And you can see on the picture what it looked like when I saw it. But I like the ruffles. Um, and I like the length. And I'm pretty sure... Let's see the size. Usually it's down here on the bottom. This is a 2XL. It might be a little big. But we'll find out when we go and try it on. Next is a two-piece outfit. I thought that these were shorts, but it's a skirt. I don't know about that. This is a skirt. It's kind of cute though. We're going to try it on. And it's a 2X as well. So it's a skirt and it came with the matching shirt. So it's kind of like an, an off the shoulder style shirt, but it is long sleeve, which is good for spring, but in summer it might be a little warm. I don't, I don't know about that one. This is another two piece outfit, but this, these are shorts. I don't really wear shorts, but we're going to give it a try. And it came with, it's a two-piece a two piece number. It came with this, like, kimono. But I really liked that co the colors. It's very groovy, very, like, 60s colorway. I think this is also a 2X. Yes, this is a 2X. It's quite long, though, so I kind of got it for the kimono. I don't know that I'll wear the shorts but we'll try it on. And then this is the shirt that doesn't really match the earrings, but it's got chickens on it. See, here's the earrings, the Beyonce earrings. And then here's the shirt. Look at all them chickens. I just thought it was cute. It is kind of that weird polyester slickery fabric. So I don't know about that. It's also a 2X. It seems like it's probably pretty true to size. But we'll find out when we go and try it on. And then I have a stack of graphic t-shirts here. Now, they are all a, a polyester blend. They all... I honestly, I've had a lot of Timu 
uh, t-shirts that I really, really do like. The graphic on them sometimes can feel a little crunchy, um, but I think all of these feel pretty good. I love this band. This is one of my very favorite bands. All of these are, I think, a 2XL. Typically, and we'll find this out when we try these on, typically with the graphic t-shirts, you'll want to size up. But this one is Greta Van Fleet. They had several Greta Van Fleet uh, t-shirts over there. So we will try that one on. Love it. And then this one. This one, I like this one too. On the front, it says, you matter. You do, you matter. But on the back, it's got this anthropomorphic, I about said moon, earth. And it says, tomorrow needs you. Call or text 988, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. I love the message that was on there. And I like that anthropomorphic graphic. So I really, really like that. So I'm excited to try that on. And then this is just me. And I think that this was like a really good deal. Sometimes you can get shirts and they're like a lightning deal. So you can get them for really, really cheap. And since this is a little off season, it was pretty cheap. Um, but it is, let's all go to the movies, kind of that old like 1950s drive-in icons for the snack bar. But it says, let's all go watch scary movies. Look, he has an ax. That's a skeleton there. He's got fangs. That says candy. And he's got a bloody knife. I don't really like scary movies, but I liked the graphic that's on there. And then there's this one because I love cats. I mean, who doesn't? It's kind of a weird color. I thought it would be more, a little bit darker of a color. But look, it's cat. Meow, meow. It says rock, paper, scissors. And it's got the cat's paw. And then the paper, that's the rock. The paper is an oak. And then scissors is the That's cute. These are all 2XL. So let's go over to the mirror and let's try these on. Okay, I'm doing, I'm doing these in like reverse order. So I'm starting with the one that I showed you last because that's just the way that they were in my pile. But look, rock, paper, scissors. So I like this one. This one I have to say it's a 2X and it's, a, it's pretty roomy. So I've got lots of room in this. I have it on the leg, as you can see, and it covers my butt and my belly. So it's just fun. It's just a fun little funsy shirt if you like kitty cats. And they have these in a lot of different colors, but this is super soft. It is very, very soft. So I'm really happy with the, the way that it feels. And I just think that it's fun. Let's all go to the movies and get ourselves a snack. I like this one. I mean, I would wear this all year round. Not, not necessarily just Halloween time. Do I need to raise you up a little bit? Hang on a minute. Maybe we needed to raise you down a little bit. I'll get the hang of this at some point before the video is over. But I like this. I will wear this in the summer. It's short sleeve ob sleeves, obviously. But I like spooky, creepy things. Even though I'm scared to death to watch scary movies, I cannot handle that kind of anxiety. But I like the idea of it, which makes absolutely no sense. Like, I like real life scary things, but not like pretend scary things. Like, I don't want to see people getting hacked up and all that. No, I, I, no. But I like this. And I like that the little snack critters are all anthropomorphic. So, and this is, this fits pretty true to size. Um, this is a 2X, so I would say that you'd be safe to ordering, you know, if you normally wear a 2X, you're pretty safe to, you know, you have a lot of room to order something true to size. And I like the length on it too. The cool thing about the way that this fabric is, I know that people don't like the fabric. These do feel like a cotton. It is a polyester blend, but they don't shrink. So that's what I really like about it. So I really like this one. And it was a really good price too. And I, listen, if something is out of stock, it won't even let me pull it up at all. So if you comment, you're interested in something, I might just tell you it's out of stock because they're no longer available on the website, but you matter. No, seriously, you really do. You really do. I love the message that's on this. This one is very, very roomy. This is, this is a two X and I got a lot of space, but I love the message and the graphic that's on the back. And I specifically like it if you were like standing in line somewhere at the grocery store or just walking down the aisles of Walmart, someone can see this message on your back and maybe it will resonate with them. 
So I really do like this. I love the font that's on there. I love that graphic on the back. It's pretty roomy. This one's a 2X. I got lots of room in here. It's a nice length to wear with leggings as well. So, and they had several different options with the same kind of um, graphic on it or same kind of message on it and a couple different um, graphic styles. So this is one that I really like because I like globes. So, yay. Okay, I'm sporting some Greta Van Fleet. If, you, if you've never heard of Greta Van Fleet, do a little, do yourself a favor. Do a Google search, type in Greta Van Fleet. They are sort of, they remind me a little bit of like a modern day Led Zeppelin. Their voices, they're, and the, the, they're just amazing. It's an amazing experience. So check them out if you like kind of 70s era rock. You'll love them, you'll love them. And they're brothers. I think, I don't know if they're all brothers, but there's twins and then a brother and I don't know if they're all brothers or not. I don't quite know, but I do like them. And I love the shirt. So again, this is a 2X. I would say this one also is very true to size. I love graphic t-shirts. I live in them. I wear them so often. I like that you can be expressive. You can do like the fun quirky ones, like the kitty cat ones. And I'm getting ready to wear the, put the chicken one on. So, you know, you can, you know, be expressive in your little in your graphic graphic t-shirts but i like i really really like this one so yeah and again go check out Greta van fleet you won't be disappointed this shirt for, kind of reminds me you remember the roseanne shirt that she wore and like the whole cast wore it and it had the big the big rooster or chicken on it i don't know why why it reminds me of that but it does this one is also very true to size. So I, I, this is a, I wear a 2X normally. This is a 2X. I would even go to say it might be a little on the smaller side. So if you want a lot of room in it, you might want to size up. This one's just quirky and fun. I just like it. It's just fun. I don't have chickens, but I like chickens. This one I think would look really cute, like with a, a denim jacket or something over it, and probably with jeans, I would say. But it's just a fun, fun, quirky shirt. The earrings I don't think are going to match very well, but that's okay. We'll wear them at different times. It's very, very soft too, and it won't shrink. That's what I really like about them. So yay for chickens. I don't like this one. <laughs> I, 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 I don't like that. I don't, I don't like it. it. It's very weird. What? I don't know. It kind of feels like a curtain. It looks like a curtain with this pleating and I don't know. It, to me, it doesn't look anything like what the picture looked like. I tied it in the back and I, it kind of feels like I'm choking a little bit in it. Sometimes I'm like, do I have this on? Do I have this on backwards? Hang on, let me see. Maybe make sure I don't have this on backwards. Okay, I had it on backwards. This is much better. <sighs> this, why does this feel like it's choking me? I had it on backwards. That's why. Okay, I like this a lot better now. Um, it probably still looks like from the back, the way that I felt like it felt in the front, but this is much better. So I'm always, I never know what to do with strings. And typically the, there's no tag in the back. The tag is on the side, so you don't know unless you're looking at it, which way it goes. Anyway, I like this one better now that it's on the right way. Uh, it's it's a kind of a darker color than what I would wear in the summertime. I don't think I'm going to keep this one because I don't think that I like it, quite honestly. Uh, but it does fit a lot better now that it's on the right way. So there is that. The length is good if you want to wear it with leggings. I just don't see me wearing this a whole heck of a lot. So I am going to return this one. Okay, you're going to have to excuse that I have on this my Elvis shirt on underneath it. Cause I would not, I would wear probably a tank top underneath this, but I don't have that around me. This is that kimono with the shorts. <sighs> the kimono is too big. And I think the, sh and the shorts are borderline too big. There's no pockets in the shorts. I think maybe if this was, now you can see I've got on right. The first look I have is with the light with leggings without the shorts, because like I said, I got this thinking that I wanted the kimono and the shorts just came with it, but I don't like these big, big sleeves. That will drive me nuts. So, 
And it's very, very wrinkled, which makes me think, is it gonna be this wrinkled every time I take it out of the, out of the wash? So I don't wanna iron anything. Honestly, I think that with the shorts, it would be cute in the summer with probably just like a white or a black tank top underneath it. But it would be really cute, I think, as a bathing suit cover up. You know, you can put your shorts on and have this as like, almost like a little bit of a robe cover up with your bathing suit. So I don't know, I have mixed feelings about it. I honestly think I'm gonna return it because I don't think that I'm going to wear it ever. And I'm trying not to keep things that I know I'm never gonna wear. So it's very, very cute. But I don't think it's for me. I wanted to show you though too that the that the shorts do have these cute little beads on the drawstring, but no, there's no pockets, which I don't like. All right, I can already tell you that you a, pro a lot of you are probably really gonna like this on me, but I don't like it. I don't think I'll ever wear it. It's I think it's a little too big. It's a skirt, which I probably would wear bike shorts underneath it just to make myself feel a little bit more secure. I don't know, but it's, I tucked the shirt in to the, the elastic waistband of the skirt. Cause I think it, it looks more like a dress, but I think it would look cute with a belt. I don't know. I've got mixed feelings about this one. I think that it's super cute, but I, I don't know. I don't know. The jury is still out with this one. I kind of like, the more that I have it on, the more I think I like it, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. What do you think about this one? That's okay. You can be honest with me. I do like it with these glasses though, by the way. I do. I do like that look, but it's cute. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right. So let's go on over to the table and let's, uh, let's talk about this a little bit. Okay. So I still have this on. I, the jury is still out. I, I do like it. I I'm just one of those things like, am I ever going to wear it? I guess I need to go home and put it on with my biker shorts underneath it to see if, if that would look okay or if they would, it would be too short. I don't know. But I mean, if anything, you, this was a set. So I do like the shirt. So I could wear the shirt and not the dress. I didn't even try it on with the leggings, but you know what I mean? It's long enough that I think I could still wear it with leggings, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. My goal was to test out the graphic t-shirts and I, 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 I liked all of them. The only thing that I, this the jury's still out with this, but I am going to return the purple and that thing that I put on backwards. And I'm going to return the baby heads and and this probably this because I thought it was smaller. And these now I and these because I I couldn't get those to I couldn't figure them out. Now I have gotten a lot of questions. Is the is the returns easy? And it is. You need to use a computer. It's to me, everything is easier on the computer. I know that you can initiate returns on the phone, but it's just easier to do on the computer. And you just go into your order and you select the items. There's like a little toggle and you say you return and then you'll select the items. Sometimes it'll ask you to give a reason. It'll ask for photos too, but I have never had to provide a photo. I, I guess if something is damaged, possibly. But typically the things that I have returned are because I didn't, just didn't like them or they were too big or they were too small or I couldn't figure them out, or I had them on backwards. Uh, sometimes they'll say, just keep it. Donate it, keep it. They don't even make you return it. Depends. Sometimes they do want you to return things, but I've had it both ways where they've been like, just, we, we want you to keep it. And for what I do, since, you know, on my main channel, I have live sales and I do, do giveaways and I do little package enclosures. Typically, I'll just give them away. Um, but you could donate them if, you know, if you just didn't want them at all and they didn't want you to return them, but you will still get a, either a credit or you'll get money back uh, depending on the form of payment that you have used. Uh, so that they're really, 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 it's a really easy process. You can just print off a label. You can also, what they've been doing too, is you can download a QR code and you just take that to your post office, put the items in a box or in a poly bag. Um, and you go to the post office and have that on your phone. The post office will scan that QR code. They will print off the label and then you're good to go. And once your item is tracked, then your, um, your refund can start being initiated. So it's a really easy process, but I do recommend you doing it on the computer. That's just the easiest way to do it. 
Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this week's Timu haul. Um, stay tuned. I've got another, uh, some more items down here. I've got some sandals and some more hair items. So that's going to be coming up very soon. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed if you are not subscribed. I do a lot of try on hauls and honest unboxings and reviews on this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my main channel, Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. The link to everything is down in the description and a link to Timu is down in the description too if you want to save a little bit of money on your first Timu order. But I appreciate you guys watching. Hit the thumbs up on your way out and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.